we are no longer uh, experiencing the better use, the, the better use the way we used to do, just because of climate change. There's intense heat that we are experiencing through climate change. Kasisi uh, is a Jesuit mission not far away from Lusaka. Here, right now, we are at Kasisi Agriculture Training Center, uh, which is an agricultural center with the goal to improve the livelihoods of small scale farmers. There's uh, this serious problem of climate change, which is affecting almost everyone. It's a global issue. Now, because of this, it has brought also food insecurity. It has brought even the issue of uh, malnourishment because uh, family members, they are no longer receiving or having at least enough food on their tables. You find that some of the seeds, because of climate change, they have gone into extinction. Zambia faces uh, two dynamics. One is climate change, which is already now felt here in the southern part of Africa. And when you look at the projections, uh, the southern part of Africa will be one of the regions worldwide will, which will be hit uh, the strongest. And for some parts of Zambia, it means they will become more like Namibia. So very dry, very few rainfall, very scorching heat. And we have to see how can we adapt the agricultural systems to these weather extremes. We are all affected by climate change. But agroecology is one of the, the type of farming practice that mitigates climate change. And it all, it's a practice that uses locally available materials. So in agroecology, we are using what they have in the community. There's always a better way of combating this, these challenges. And this is no other than embracing agroecological activities into our farming systems. Working with nature, but not against nature. Farming is collaborating with nature to get the best results. And uh, today we are promoting agroecology and this uh, means a way of farming which is environmentally friendly, but then also it has a social component that it aims to bring people together in the community to work together and to achieve something together. Uh, at, at Kasisi we, we, we have like six areas of work. We have the extension, we have uh, research and training, we have the processing of the, produ uh, the production unity, we have the, the advocacy. In what we're doing, we are following three principles of, of, of sustainable organic agriculture. That is soil fertility management, uh, soil and water conservation, and natural pest and disease control. Under these principles, there are some practices that we follow. So one of the practices is compost making, bokashi making, uh, crop rotation. So those are the, what we're calling the good practices of, of agriculture. I used to do my farming just normally as everyone does. And I had a lot of losses. I used to cut too much trees. I used to burn grasses. Sometimes when I wanted to cultivate, I would just call a tractor to come and plow. By so doing, I found that I was destroying my land through soil erosion, and sometimes I was losing more. So we are doing training of small-scale farmers. We are also doing projects, extension work where we are going out in the field, working with the farmers on their farm, giving them advice how they can improve. KTC has a, a long history. It was already founded nearly 50 years ago from a Canadian Jesuit brother, Brother Paul. And he came here and he started to teach farming. It was uh, very much in line with the Green Revolution. So means machinery, fertilizers, pesticides. Today we are feeling more and more they are not helping the small-scale farmers to improve their livelihoods, but rather bring them into more dependency. And Brother Paul, he realized this in the end of the 80s, start of the 90s, 
And that's the moment when he shifted to organic agriculture. So it is important that we use agroecology. Agro if you come to my place, you'll find that I've got plants. I've got seedlings and some have already gone up to one meter. The Kasisi people have really helped me in all what I'm doing. They, are, uh, they have taught me how to sustain in agriculture through whatever resources that I have. I'm using them and they are giving me profit right now. The, the common model of economy, they want the farmers actually just to grow maize and then to sell it. But in agroecology, we, we are looking that the farmers, they are growing a whole diversity of crops, which then also uh, gives a, a very equilibrated nutrition because you have many different things to eat. It also uh, makes that over most of the months of the year you have something to eat. So these are the things which are making the farmer strong and more independent. And uh, then they will be able also to organize their communities better to, to work together and to build economic systems from the bottom up rather than being sucked into a top-down approach. Kasisi actually is one institution that has greatly contributed to, to well-being of farmers, especially where I come from in Chongwe. Because one, Kasisi, it has also brought about the issue of sustainability. As farmers, we are able to stand on our own because of some of the trainings that we benefited from Kasisi. When I started the practicing our agroecology, I've seen that things are now changing slowly. Right now, I've got chickens, I've got pigs, I've got goats, which I'm sustaining myself through the Kasisi. They have taught me how to do these things. We, we are working at the moment uh, on different models how we can uh, scale up the, the spread of this agroecological knowledge. So we have started uh, in the start of last year a diploma program in agroecology, which is a three-year formation. And by this we hope to, to outreach uh, to other parts of Zambia uh, very easily. Uh, the future of Kasisi, I hope to reach all the corners of, of Zambia to spread the message of organic agriculture and agroecology and also to spread the, the, the news to the rest of the world because we want to, to eat uh, organic produced foods and we believe that our food is, is African.